Good day once again everybody, uh, parents and kids. Welcome to test two of Dr. Fernando Fulley's IQ tests for preschoolers. I believe you went through my test one and did well and looking forward for another test. So here's test two and again I'll let you know for the kids Try to do as many as you can. If you are having trouble, you can always come back to them. And parents, you can use these tests both to give an opportunity for your kids to test themselves and also to teach them anything that you find they might not know. All right, having said that, let's start the test. Here is the first question. I have a bunch of rabbits here. Find the rabbit that is different from the others. Can you see a rabbit that is different from the others? Look very carefully. There's one rabbit that's missing something. Can you notice which rabbit is missing what? I'm sure you can spot it. Did you point to this one? Yes. If you did so, then you are correct. Can you tell me what body part is the rabbit missing? Yes. It's missing its tail. Very good. Let's go to the next question. Here are those rabbits again. But this time, one of the rabbits are missing something else. Can you find the rabbit that is different from the others? Look carefully. Did you point to this rabbit? If you did so, then you are correct. And also, what is this rabbit missing? Can you name the body part that the rabbit is missing? Yes, it's missing its ears. Well done. Here's the next question. We have a different kind of pictures. It's a teddy bear. Find the bear that is different from the others. There's one teddy bear that's missing something. Look very carefully. Can you find the teddy bear that's missing something? I'm sure you do. And did you choose this bear? If you did, you are correct. What is the bear missing? He's missing his bow tie. Everybody else has a bow tie, but this one's not. Very good. All right, let's go to the next question. Here's another set of bears. Can you find the bear that's different from the others? Look very carefully. It could be a little tricky, but I'm sure you have very sharp eyes and you can point to the bear that is different. Did you point to this bear? If you did, you are correct. Can you tell me what's different in this bear? Right, his eyes. All the other bears have round eyes. But this bear, his eyes are square. Isn't that funny? He's a funny bear. All right, well done. Here's your next question. Again, I want you to find the bear that's different. Look very, very carefully. Can you find the bear that is different? Which one is it? Did you find it? If you pointed to this one, then you are correct. 
What's different about this bear? This bear has eyebrows. The other bears don't have eyebrows. But this bear, he has some big black eyebrows. Isn't that funny? Yes. Let's go to the next question now. Here's another set of bears, and one of them are different. Can you point to the one that is different? I'm sure you can. Did you point to this one? If you did, you are correct. What's different about the bear? Yes, his bow tie is black. Everybody else has a white bow tie. Job well done. Okay, let's go to the next question. Oh, here we go. We have a beautiful set of cute mice. Can you find a mouse that's different from the others? I'm sure you can. Did you point to this one? Well, then you are correct. And what is that mouse missing? Can you tell me? Yes, he's missing his tail. That's a funny mouse. All right, let's move along. Here's those mice again. Do you see a mouse that's different here? Look very carefully. There's something very, very small that's different here. But I'm sure you can spot it. Did you point to this one? Yes. And what's different? That mouse has a black nose. Everybody has a pink nose, but this mouse, his nose is black. Okay, let's go to the next question. Here are those mice again. Do you see anything different about these mice? There's one mouse that's different. Now this is a hard one. It's not easy to spot. Look very, very carefully. I'll give you a hint. Look at their ears. Did you notice it now? Did you point to this one? Yeah, this mouse has a white ear. Everybody else has ears that are blue inside or gray. This mouse has a white ear inside. Very good. Let's move along. Let's go to the next question. Okay, now we have a bunch of camels. Can you find the camel that is different? Yes, I'm sure you can. Did you point to this camel? Well, if you did, then you are correct. So what's different about this camel? What do camels have on their back? It's called the hump. Three of the camels have double humps. They're double hump camels. But this one camel, he doesn't have two humps. Instead, he has one big hump on its back. Now, isn't that a funny camel? Yeah, he, he's a funny camel. All right, next question. Wow, we have some nice pictures here. Can you find the vehicle that does not go on land? 
Yes, I'm sure you can. Which vehicle doesn't go on land? It's this one. Can you name that vehicle? It's an airplane. And where do airplanes go? They fly in the sky. Have you ever been in an airplane? Good. What about the others? They are all cars. And where do cars go? They go on land. Good job. Let's go to the next question. We have a set of animals. Can you find the animal that doesn't have any legs? Did you point to this one? If you did, then you are correct. What is that animal that doesn't have any legs? It is a fish. Very good. Can you name the other animals that you see in here? Okay, the first animal is an elephant. The next animal is a lion. And the last animal is a polar bear. Very good. You know your animals. All right, next question. Okay, we have some shapes here. And I want you to find the shape that's missing. So on the first row, we have a diamond, diamond, and diamond. The next row, we have a cross, a cross, and a cross. The third row, we have circle, circle, and what should go in the blank space? Can you point to the correct shape that should go in the blank space? I'm sure you can. And the answer is the circle. Did you point to that one? If you did, you are correct. Very good. Let's go to the next question. Here's your last question of the test. Find the shape that fits the missing space. We have a circle, a square, a circle, a square, a circle, and what should come next? Can you point to the correct shape that should come next? Did you point this one? It's the square. If you point it to the square, you are correct. That's very good. You did really well. All right, that's the end of test two. Good job, and you all did really well. If you want, you can go back and start doing the test again and see if you find it any easier this time. All right, until we meet again, I'm Dr. Fernando Pulle, and bye-bye.